Hi there, topic of health and safety. Um, looking at control measures for PPE, uh, sorry, not for PPE, for scaffold, <laughs> safe systems of work. So the question is explain control measures. Here's your marks. Okay. So we've got to pull this apart. First up, we think what we've been asked to do. We're being asked to explain. We can't just list or um, just give an over, just say what it is. It's been asked to explain. So say what it is and the reason why it is. So what is it and why is it? That's the explanation. Do not forget to apply it to your application. If you're going to give me control measures to do with groundworks, that's not useful because we're talking specifically about fascia soffits and barge boards. If you're not too sure what they are, you might want to go and educate yourself a little bit. They're above ground, roof works, etc. So you might want to sort of get your head around some of the terminology. It might be something to do um, to help you. So we're also being asked to do control measures. So we're controlling, so measures to control safety. So don't forget health and safety. If we were doing science or something, measures control science stuff, right? But we're doing health and safety. How are we going to control, keep people safe on site when you've got people working at heights? Well, what you would do first is you'd have a little think about your HSE documentation. Um, Haswer is your go-to for everything really, Health and Safety at Work Act. And then you'd have your, your working at height regulations, war, war, whatever you want to call it. Um, so the other thing to do is to have a little Google and have a look at control measures at height or control measures at site, working with fascia soffits and barge boards, if you're not sure what they are. And then I found a, a website about roof work here. Um, so yeah, just have a little Google, have a explore, get on the HSC website and uh, see what you can find. This is the time to step away and do that and then come back with your answers. Okay, so what we found was this. First up, we've got to think one measure. So we do not need to do more than one. Two marks, yeah? So the two marks, one measure for two marks. One is actually saying what it is and then the second mark would be the reason why it is. So do not forget also that it's already said PPE. It's going to be a waste of space saying, oh, PPE, such as, and then listing a load of PPE. You do not want to do that you, because it's already been said there, so you're not going to get any marks for it at all. Here is the mark scheme. Um, what it's saying is if you get working platforms and scaffolding or platforms, that would give you one mark, yeah? They used for working at height. And then saying, well, actually, they provide a safe platform. That's the reason why they exist. That would be your second mark. So another option would be, so doing the research and or just looking at stuff, um, another option would be waste shoots directly to